We are Paul Leonard and Bryce Graskowski, and this is 20, 20 Minutes of Fitness. Yo, yo. How's it Howdy. Going, buddy? These are loud. Holy cow. You said they were loud last week. Yeah, and yet right now I actually feel like this is quiet. But yeah, those were intense last week or Holy two weeks cow. ago, whatever it was. Sounds like I'm So, gonna... uh, well, welcome back. Hi. Uh, another week, another yes. podcast, another fitnessing session. Fitness. Today we did the CrossFit affiliate programming five kilometer row. Ugh, yep. Ugh. Most people. That was fun. That doesn't sound good for them. Is, is that a cherry picker day? Is that what they call that day? Clearly. Yes. Yes. So. Uh, and you showed up. Why? Because he's good at rowing. People. And I showed up because I like rowing. Yeah. And. 1807, not a bad, not a bad, not bad uh, time row. at all. Not at all. What was your, um, for the people at home, what was your, your marathon row? I don't remember the total time, but I averaged a 150. Three hours and four minutes. Is I that believe. what it was? Yeah. Ridiculous. Did you just recently look that up? No, I just remember. Oh. It was like 304 or 306, one or the other. I believe you. Yeah, stupid. Yeah, I'm good at rowing. Yeah. And I, my split was, uh, my average split was a 154. For three hours, people. Yeah, I can just kind of stay is at that, that rate. Is that when you did the Ironman? Is that when you were? No, it's not relevant to that. It was no. a different time. I don't know why I even did the row. Someone thought it was a good idea. And there okay. was some like concept two challenge, so we did it. No, we did it because we did the. Um, yeah, it was part of that. It was happened to be in May. That's when they do their month long. Yeah, rowing challenge, but it was also the. Um, but it was the year before the games did it. No, let me talk. You know, fine. Fuck. It was the Kauai, Boring. the fundraiser we did for Kauai for their flood. Oh, okay. We did row for, it was May the 4th. We watched Star Wars. Yeah. We ran Star Wars from morning till we went through all of them. And then, uh, yeah, rode. The I didn't time. do it all day. I only and did you brought, it for three hours. I only watched one and a half movies. I, I was there from whatever, 7.30, 8.30 till the last class. I, I did 1,000 meters every 15 minutes. That's mm. all I did. I did. I would get on it and keep, I'd, all under four minutes, a thousand. I don't think I did it that time. Oh, that was the next year. I think you did it that way the next year and the previous year. I just did it with like Sana and Josh and there was some other bunch. random people on a Saturday. It was a bunch of people. Yeah, there was there was a handful of us for sure. No, I'm, yeah, we did it with uh, right. We watched Beer Fest. Yes, that's one. I yeah, was that was the for. first one. And the second one, I said, don't have to do that again. Yeah, and I didn't. Yeah, the and um, you know when the next time I plan to row a marathon is. Never. Never going to do it. And you brought your popcorn popper in the second time. I believe that. And I made pancakes the first time. Oh. Remember I made pancakes for people? No. Nope. Big no. memory. But I think that was yeah. a good idea. That was nice. It was nice a good idea. idea. Yeah, it was good. That was fun. And like some people like left during it and then came back and yeah. continued. Like Yeah, yeah. Did like a half and then came back later. Yeah. Because yeah. they didn't have enough time in their day. So. That was fun. Is rowing a good workout for uh, for our programming? It's okay. It's not, um, I think it fit well this week. Yeah. Today, uh yeah, so we did what? So Monday we did all legs. legs yeah. Tuesday we did all arms. Yeah. So Wednesday we flush it all out. And get some cardio in, which yeah. is never a bad thing. Although Monday was cardio for me. No, I mean, it, that's all. <laughs> well, no. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I did a 15-minute workout. It took me 30 minutes. So oh. I feel like that was cardio. That's crazy. I could have did it three times in that. You could not. I couldn't. <laughs> but you probably could have done it twice. Maybe twice. Twice. Maybe. Probably, that would hurt so 150 bad. 150 pistols? Oh, dude. The last I'm set. I'm not forgetting pistols if you don't know. That last set was just grit and just your, my leg was like cramping in all sorts of weird places. I did 10 sets of five for that last set. Nice. Yeah. There was no way I was doing a big set. I did uh, 25 and then 25. Did you? Yeah. Wow. I was, I was moving. I was trying to. Trying to be under 10, so. Okay, so this brings us into our topic, yeah. though. We like the programming that we've seen this week at the CrossFit Affiliate Programming. Yep, and pretty good. overall, we both agree that it was, it's was it been pretty good programming? I think it's pretty good. I think it's um, it's 125 bucks. This is a commercial for CrossFit. Uh, 125 bucks a month for the affiliates, and it gives you four, four or five tracks, which is nice. Um, and so and I'll it, put straight and be on the whiteboard for you. Yeah, and it's putting beyond the whiteboard or or whatever. They're, they do a whole bunch of platforms. Okay. So, uh, but they they give a good amount of stuff, and they give like all the scales. They give a ridiculous amount of information for coaches. Not that they read it. They no. should. They should be, but Probably. they don't because they're illiterate. Um, hey, be nice to Scrappy. Yeah the uh, the amount of information they give you is great, and yeah, I mean the workouts are 
are well made. They obviously test them, so they know how to adjust them. And a lot of them are repeats from previous CrossFit uh, days. I mean, it's been what? How many years now they've been online? And they give you good goals and stuff too, right? Twelve years of, you know, so that so a lot of times like um, yesterday's or the the pistol. Pistol yeah. double under one. That was a repeat of something years ago. Okay. So, you know, they're in there. So. And yeah. on like Fridays with the lunge one, it actually said right in the notes that this is a good wad to scale up if you think you'll be too fast oh, for you. Yeah, yeah. Which it wasn't needed no. to be scaled up. 155 is plenty. But um, I could see there being lots of people where 155 yeah, would the, be too the little. The guy that did it in s- four minutes and 20 seconds, bro, scale up. Like, yeah, for real. Yeah, he should be doing 185 or maybe even 225 for that. I don't care. 300 pounds. <laughs> Slow his ass down. God damn. That's crazy. But I like that they have notes like that in there to be like, this is a good time yeah. to do this if you think so. Now, at the same time, their their numbers, their goal times are based on them, meaning Austin, Maliolo, Hobart, all those yeah. guys. So, so a lot of times it's, or whoever tested it, we'll say it that way, um, which means probably the best person at your gym. Yeah. Odds are. Or someone better than anybody at your gym. Correct. Which a lot of times is that, yeah, by minutes. Uh, so I think I think they need a real – that's the only thing I would say they need to change is put a goal time for – yeah, I mean, I guess you're supposed to scale to the goal, but it's kind of hard to scale to the goal sometimes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when you RX everything. do RX. Yeah. And the reality is you're right. We should probably be scaling more of the workouts than we are eh, well, to do this. Not really. To but. do that. But – it's still a good workout, even if oh, it yeah, takes yeah, a few yeah. minutes. No, I like their workouts. That, that, that would be one thing. Um, things like today, just rowing for a half hour or whatever. It's not a popular choice. Not a popular choice. A lot of people aren't going to show up. I don't mind long rows. I would have rather seen, uh, I don't know, you could do a 5K row followed by, I don't know, something stupid. Max. Or five 1K rows with stuff in the middle. Yeah, I like that type of – people like that type of rowing better. As yeah. a coach <laughs> – 5k row every day i don't care yeah, yeah super easy hey guys here's how we row here's some pointers i'll see you in a half hour yeah you have the rest of the class i'll, Go. I'll come by a few times make sure they're doing everything okay fix give them some cues i'm not just sitting around uh but half your coaches are but it's it's pretty easy i mean it's it's an easy day you you can stand in the middle and just be like okay make sure you're doing this so i don't mind it as a coach and affiliate it's great all the stuff's out you don't have to worry about yeah. There's not a lot of cleanup, right? It's great. But for and as an athlete, it is appropriate. Yeah. It's just not. Fun. Oh, absolutely. And I actually, I, I, I really think in the affiliates, we're not doing enough long distance, long time frame. We're missing the long. We're only going up to medium long. Even this is just medium long. This oh, yeah. is not long. No, so, so 20 minutes is not. Um, and I know CrossFit's methodology, they say anything over 35 minutes. I don't know if they still say that, but anything over 35 minutes is your, your, payback is negative right you're starting to burn muscle and you know all the energy stores are all gone and whatnot um and so there's not as much gain per you know the bell curve stops or whatever it is you know changes um but i still think there you need that mentally to know you can push and the um your your body's uh was that resilience yeah right resilience so you were like they gave it out for free at first, right? Oh, the programming, yeah, the programming, and then Six starting in January, you had to start paying for it, yep. right? Yeah, one twenty-five. Which again, that's, that's not very. That reasonable. is not bad for. That's what I was saying. The amount of tracks they give you, and the amount of information, one twenty-five, and they put it into all your different formats. One twenty-five is really cheap. Like, uh, if I go back to programming myself, um, yeah, I save one hundred twenty-five bucks, but I'm spending that in time. Oh, maybe three times that in time, really. Yeah. So that's a tough one. But you also gain the knowledge and the experience of programming. I, I, I fully believe like if you're you consider yourself a top level coach or not even you want to become a top level coach, you have to be creating programming. You can't be following somebody else's stuff. Well, and you have to you want to customize it to your market as well, True. right? Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of where like, you know. 30 minutes of rowing, that's okay here. But like if you're doing 30 minutes of running, people aren't showing up because at 3.30, 4.30 at night here, holy God, it's hot. And, yeah. and nobody wants to be outside running for 20 to 30 minutes. Like you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of people skipping that day. And there may be some people that are like, well, if it's just a run, I'll do it at home. Yeah. And then they don't yeah, come for that reason. That, yeah. But, uh, and, and, they, and that's the thing. CrossFit does a lot of um, 
monostructural, longer stuff like that once in a while that people are just like, nope. Don't want to do it. 2K row. No, I ain't showing up for that. That's not even long, but like. It's not fun. It's horrible. It feels awful. That's actually worse than the five in my opinion. Yeah, way worse. Um, and then they so also. dig in. Yeah, they do the same thing with the strength work where with the affiliate programming, it's not like CrossFit.com where you're like five by five back squat for load. It's like that's not a full day of. Yeah. If, if you're going to an affiliate, you want more than that. You want some like, okay, guys, go go squat, like whatever. Uh, with the programming though, they give you accessory stuff on the heavy days. Um, generally when I program it, I will give you, you know, the first part of class for the heavy work. And then we'll do a little Metcon action with that has the accessories built in. I like that better than sitting there and doing, you know, bicep curls after you do strict press or pull-ups or something. I'd rather put it, put it in a little Metcon so you can get your heart rate up. There's no, you know, there's no reason you, you, you can't get your heart rate up with the accessory work. So that's my, that's my big one that, that, uh, drawbacks for the, uh, programming. And it's, and it's only because they, they stick with that CrossFit.com methodology of five by five, five by three, you know, they've been doing that forever. Seven um, by three. What? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Remember the, uh, those. what did they do? Like a five by 10 or a three by 10 back squats or front. Remember the front squat one? Those so, are horrible. So bring him back to to the review of this, if we yeah. look at it from that perspective. Yeah. First of all, would you recommend CrossFit affiliate programming to another affiliate? Absolutely. If you don't have, um, if if you don't have, what do you call it, experience programming, or like you you have experience programming, you know you're just either you don't like to do it or you're just not that great at it. Absolutely. Um, I think it's value wise, head and shoulders above everybody else, because I don't think anybody's charging one hundred and twenty five dollars. Yeah. Um, there, there's some other ones that are pretty reasonable. I know like spiel programming is pretty cheap as well. It's two hundred dollars a month. Is he? We used to do it. And, yeah, I don't yeah. know what the what. It your might even be costs. more now. I yeah. think it went down actually, but anyway, Maybe. his program is yeah. good as well, but it doesn't give you the same amount of stuff that CrossFit affiliate does. One issue I have with the CrossFit affiliate one is CrossFit stepping into the space of now they're a competitor to people like Spiel or people like Bergeron, or if I wanted to sell programming, they're my competitor now and they're going to yeah. undercut. They're going to undercut because they have. A built-in market that you know yeah so, for guys like chris that sucks to You're me right. that's kind of shitty so fuck them no just well, don't and do then it you also it do sucks. get the guys like misfit who just give out their stuff for free yeah but they give it they don't give it all for free nobody gives it all for free you <laughs> no, can find give you a taster you could all. find any of them for free the, okay the, the the workout of the day the metcon or whatever whatever part they're giving you for free I don't think Spieler does. He doesn't do much. He doesn't, he doesn't give, give anything for free. But like Lynchpin, all those guys, they give out the main, just like CrossFit.com. Okay. They give out the main one for free. Yeah. But you have to wait till that day. You know, some people will do like, um, there'll be a couple weeks, month back. So they, so could, they can follow the line. So that they, they know it's going to, they could talk about it, right? Instead of, oh, tomorrow, I'm not sure what tomorrow is until eight o'clock tonight, right? It's kind of like the open every day, which is, you know, a problem to, um, Programming wise, programming around the open sucks because if you pick the wrong stuff, you could really mess people up. Like every year when I pick whatever on Tuesday and it shows up on Friday, even though yeah. I was like, oh, there's no way there's, there's going to no be wall walks. Show up. Yeah. yeah, last year that was classic. Um, wall so, walks on Tuesday, wall walks on Friday. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so you do recommend it. You think I do that recommend people should it, yeah. go that Absolutely. way if they're going to be doing it. However, yeah. do you plan to stick with it? No. <laughs> so even though you think it's great programming. I think it's really good price. programming. I like my programming better, and so do a lot of people in the gym. Um, and the main one being, uh, well, for, for retention, for people coming into the gym, it's not having that monostructural one thing and nothing else, or like the weightlifting and really nothing else, no cardio there. Um, that is a big one for attend a more a rounded. attendance. Okay, nobody's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I don't li I don't like the programming because they put a five k row." No, they're gonna be like, "I don't like rowing, so I didn't show up that day. I don't care." Right? They yeah. don't they don't really mind that. But as a coach, like I want people here every day, so yeah. that's a problem. And then the other one is what was the other one? Shit, I had it uh, on top of my head. I don't remember what was the question. So. Uh, <laughs> Why are you going to trade? Why am I? Um, I want to. So you I want like to get rid of the monostructural days, and you want to get rid of the weightlifting oh, days. Oh, I know. So, you can modify so, them so the other thing 
was that that I do get complaints about like these are actual complaints Your more general than, appearance more than a few people is um no they love the way I look man fucking yeah. yoked you want me to take my shirt off what I get more complaints about having a shirt on yeah no so about the programming um like this week's a fine example Monday we just attacked the shit out of the legs Tuesday attacked the shit out of the arms that's not a big deal it's when Monday we attacked the shit out of the legs Tuesday, we, yeah, we do, ago, I think we do a 5K that. row. Wednesday, we're doing lunges. Last week. Last, oh, week, last week was horrible like that. on All legs. those front squats and then lunges like two days later. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you're going to do double unders on Monday. You're going to do lunges on Tuesday. You're going to do a row on Wednesday. On Thursday, we're going to go run. And on Friday, we've got heavy back squats. It's like, yeah. yeah, you might throw a deadlift in there somewhere, but it's still, you're crushing your one body part. Like... Uh, and legs, I don't have a problem with legs every day. Yeah. I don't. Legs need to get crushed. In different, you know, different formats, strength, speed, endurance, blah, 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 blah. But you can't blow up the little muscles. However, the shoulders, when they, when they go, the weeks that they go after the shoulders, it's like people are complaining like, man, I, I can't move my arm. I can't sleep. Like, that's not good. That's not good. And it's, and it's not a thing of like, oh, maybe they need to scale. I don't know. You put five muscle, five uh, bar muscle ups in a workout. Was that last week? Yeah, we did that last week, right? For five rounds, it's only twenty five muscle ups. I got people yeah. bang that out no problem, but the fact that we did push press the next day or the day before, it's like they don't realize at night. All of a sudden, that shit starts throbbing. You now you're you're losing sleep. Yeah, your recovery is going straight down the shitter. Everything goes down the shitter. The next day at work, you're tired. You're not recovering. At, you know. You gotta, you gotta lay off the Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, for the shitter problems. Just trying to, try to help you out, buddy. Just to help you out. Uh, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's the big thing. I don't know. Um, that's the one complaint that I really get often. Uh, and that's almost every. Your muscles are getting too strong. I every, hate that one. Yeah. Every week that they really go after the shoulders, I get a lot of complaints about. about and now, that. now my shoulders are all jacked. Yeah. As fuck. I hate it. Well, like. The chicks are all over me now. It wasn't like that before CrossFit Philly yeah. programming. But now. <laughs> Oh, the girls are all over me. Except you can't hold them up on your shoulder because your shoulder hurts so bad. You're like, oh, no, baby, don't squeeze too hard. But just gently. That's my left shoulder hurts so bad. I'm like, okay, I have a week and a half to get it better for the open. Well, and stop lifting your girlfriend up on her fiance up on that Bro, it side. looks good, though. You know, it looks just dope. Just hold her on that shoulder. I just walk around the beach like that. Just hold her on the other shoulder. I yeah. should. This arm doesn't straighten anyway. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This one stays up. <laughs> okay so uh all in all you like the program like you it. think that people should use it yeah. but if you're willing to put the time in you can do better or yes. at least you can do better and i also or at least you think you can do better i also think at times i could do better i'll say that at I times agree. With at times you can at times sometimes you're lazy at times they do better at times i do better however i also believe they do better than most of the other programs out there okay and it's programming that is actually for an affiliate of a normal it's not mayhem where you have you know yeah you're, you're you have these games a dozen games athletes so you have to program for the games athlete and then yeah. everybody else is kind of oh, everybody's scaling today like every day everybody's scaling this is made for the it's made for the affiliate so it works there's Every day, lots and lots of people are rexing stuff. And you don't see a workout like last week, Friday, where it was 155. Yeah. Mayhem would have programmed that at, at least two, at yeah. least 185, but probably 225. Yeah. And they might do like a RX plus or whatever. But, but my point is like comp train, Mayhem, if you're paying for those, yeah. they're, they're not, it's not programming for your affiliate. Um, and the experience that I, I feel Hobart and uh, Malioil Hendel have programming they've been doing it at a high level for longer than almost all these people and you know? for the right market yeah for the right market and they're the they're top. not trying to get people to the games yeah. they're just trying to keep people fit and it's true crossfit too yeah because they are the they're pretty much the head of crossfit training at this point so yeah, yeah. Makes sense. so yeah i would say do it and it's cheaper and i'd say it's probably better than almost all the other programs out there so Unless you're as awesome as Bryce, in which case you should just make it up yourself. Well, then it's free. On that note, peace. Bye.